So welcome to the premium live event for the week. Uh, I want to go through the JSC stocks. So the JSC is a Johannesburg Stock Exchange, which has over 300 stocks. I'm going to only go through the ones on my watch list with the highest um, market cap. And also, I want to just discuss the new project that we've just launched recently. So let's start off with links. What I, I need you to do is because I'm going to be sending you this video afterwards and I'll be doing a few edits. My, my agents will be doing some edits uh, to make it shorter and more effective. Um, I want you to just click on this link over here. So I'll send it in the chat. And uh, when you su subscribe, then you will get this link at a later stage to, to watch it at your own time. Then I want to send you, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, yes. So I'll be using TradingView for those who do not have a great charting platform. It's completely free. You can click on it and you can join in with TradingView and um, uh, follow the analysis. I also send out a, a whole bunch of trade analysis where are they my trades. Let's see. Yeah, my ideas. So you can see every day I send out different trade analysis. Um, you can agree, you can disagree, we can talk about it. Uh, you can share through your own analysis and you'll hear some opinions from other traders. Not that it matters. I mean, when you have a strong system and you know it's proven, you don't really care about what others have to say, but it's nice to listen to their opinion uh, which won't affect your trading, but just to see what they see. You know, the, when, when you're looking at a chart, we're seeing at different angles, you know, and it's not that we're, I'm right or you're wrong. It's just that we're following a proven system and we're both going to be right. We're both going to be wrong uh, at certain times. All right. So if you do have any questions, send it in the chat. I would do want to go through the uh, watch list for today. As you know, I started something called a Discord server, which isn't very popular in South Africa. I know it's more popular in America and in the UK uh, and Australia. But this Discord is finally a place where we can be a little bit more live and we can be more effective with our trade analysis uh, when these live events are, the reminders. So when you join Discord, which I'm not going to leave you a link at the bottom uh, in the description or anything. You need to send me an email or a comment uh, that you're interested or that you're a premium member because this is going to be for, well, one, not the trolls, and two, those who are highly passionate and dedicated to trade. So you can see when you join the Discord, the first thing you'll see is welcome to Mati Trader. And there is a little welcome letter that you can read and, and how it works. But what's important about this welcome is that these are the different chat groups that you can go to to see what is going on in the currency market, what's going on with cryptos, what about stocks, local and international, indices of all types and commodities. Then we have a few rules that you can read through or not. Then there's quick links. So if you're interested in the free resources that we have to offer with MultiTrader or you want to go to the VIP resources and you've, you know, most guys that have been with me for the last 10 years, um, they then start going into the VIP resources because they see the value that they can get from it. Then you can look at the socials. We're on everything <laughs> and you can click on them. The new Mati posts. So these are quick videos that I do uh, on a weekly basis. And sometimes there are prediction analysis. So I'll most likely put the prediction analysis in this. So, but more importantly for you is when you go to trades and analysis chat and you click on stocks, you'll see that it's already quite active with different analysis and different trade ideas uh, and also announcements. But where this is a little bit different to premium is that with premium, I send out the trades that I'm actually taking. And with the Discord, I'll send out trades that I'm taking as well as analysis on broader markets, on different types of markets that aren't fully ready yet for ripe for the picking. They are might not be on my watch list because of the availability and the, the functionality of certain stocks and, and markets in the watch list. But 
you'll also get more ideas maybe for your own trading. And like I said, it's live. So you can uh, talk, you know, you can chat, you can um, ask questions if you want. We'll give you trade ideas and alerts and analysis. And you can also provide them by screenshotting your analysis. You can share your trades and other trades. What about lessons as well as technical and fundamental tips? And it's 24-7 uh, because I'm obsessed with trading as of the last 20 years, which is not slowing down anytime soon. Uh, I'm always on these type of channels for you. I might not always be available because I'm, I'm flying here or I've got a meeting here um, or I'm just like taking a break or something, but I will get back to you within, let's say, 12 hours. So, yeah, so there's already analysis. It's looking awesome. Uh, we started it yesterday. So join in. And this is where you can also get the live events that are taking place. If you have any questions, let me know in the chat. So that's our Discord server. Pretty excited about it. And now let's get straight into the crux of today. So we're going to start off with the JSC stocks. And we'll start with ABG, which is ABSA Group. We can see on the broader side of things, it's been forming this rectangle consolidation pattern. And if we look at it on a, a shorter time uh, period, so if we do this, we can see that there is some type of symmetrical triangle that has been forming. And what I like about trading view is I can actually make my triangles. So here's the triangle that's been forming. And we need to... Um, we need another indicator. So let's bring our, our RSI. And it's doing exactly the same as the way it's it's performing with the, the, the shares. Now, the problem is that it's touching the, not bullish, not bearish, but it's almost like the, the equilibrium of the 50, which is testing this level. So the problem is, if it breaks down, it is definitely coming down to 151.31. I don't know if I will take the trade because, I don't know, maybe I will because the, the oil Z is looking like it's gonna crash soon. And if it breaks to the upside, well, that'll be amazing for the JSC and for our stocks. And I always hope for upside than downside. So at the moment, I'm just gonna say I'm pretty, um, neutral with this analysis. Okay. ArcelorMittal, I do not trade it. I do not like it. It is a penny stock. It is dangerous in the broader scheme of things. And it looks like it's going all the way down to zero. So it's formed this massive inverse cup and handle. It's broken below. And if we look at the first target, we'll go price range. And let's do the first target, which will be at about three rand forty six. So not trading it. It's on my watch list, but I do not trade it. Anglo American. Now Anglo American has broken below this M formation. You can see that this was a signal to go short, but my problem is that because this candle is so large that we missed most of the movement, especially the fact that it opened and gapped. And now if I place my stop loss, I normally want to put it at about this level. And between the entry and the stop loss will be larger than what the actual take profit is, which is around 469 Rand and 74 cents. So not that we missed this trade, but there, there was less of an opportunity for uh, Anglo-American because it just crashed down and it's continuing down, and the risk to reward is not good enough for a premium uh, trade. Then we have AMS, which is Anglo American Platinum. And you can see that I have done quite a large analysis with this. And uh, this isn't, for example, this is an analysis with Premium Match Trader where you can see where it's going but this is too large of an analysis to actually take a trade. Like this is a, this is a medium term holding position where, where you're, you're, you know, you get in at 114 and you expect the target to go to 34 and 33. Now, 
for CFDs, that's okay because you're earning interest when you're shorting uh, CFDs. So in some way, it's good. But if you're a, let's call you a, a medium a medium term trader, then this is a great example to short something and hold for the next two, three years. And that is Anglo-American Platinum. Next, we're heading over to Anglo America, um, Anglo Gold. Now, this analysis has been changed a little bit. So let's move. Actually, not. It's this little guy. All right, let's move that out the way. Let's change this. So as you can see, it's formed an inverse cap and handle. Let's place our entry level where it is broken. We'll place our stop loss at 275 Rand, 277.58. And we'll make sure that the take profit is more than 1.5 risk to reward. It has to be more than 1.5 or else it, it will not work in the long run. Your reward needs to be extensively longer than where your risk is. So. Anglo Gold, Ashanti, looking good for his shorts. Um, it's broken below. It might be a trade that I will take into consideration for premium match trader, but for now, it's just an analysis. And we will, I'll send out these analysis on Discord as well afterwards so that instead of just going to you know this video and watching the whole thing, you can go into Discord and say, all right, these are the analysis that Timon has done for the premium service, which is why I'm, I'm trying to make it a little bit more live and uh, real. Because if I'm sending via email, it's quite uh, old news. And if I send it via YouTube, it's quite a hassle to, you know, to scroll through the whole video. So instead, you can just go through Discord and I'll, I'll post these analysis afterwards. If you're happy with that, send it in the chat. I'm happy to... Um, you know, change my ways as it is. As, as I told you, the Discord only started yesterday. Aspen. And for premium members, I've given the Discord link. It is confidential and private. So if you do want to bring a family member or a friend or a colleague, just send me a little email to info at timonandmati.com or timon at timonandmati.com and say, I would like to bring in my son, grandson, uh, granddaughter, my maid, whatever you want, uh, we, I, I, I will have a look. I'll take a look and I'll send it, them the link to join the Discord. This is a private channel, but for premium members, I'm happy to accept um, your, your loved ones. Then we have Aspen. Aspen is broken below, um, short at the moment. There is an M formation. And it looks pretty good. So let's throw in the analysis. You know, I've I've done this a million times and I still forget where everything is. So let's put that as in the entry level. We'll put this as the stop loss. And remember, the risk to reward needs to be at least 1.5. So let's put it at about 1.5. So 109 Rand and 40, 109 Rand and 92 cents. So there is the target for Aspen Pharmaceuticals. Looks pretty good for a short. All right, so I'll write it down as a potential trade for the premium service, Aspen Shorts. And why? Because it's an M formation. BHG, BHG is uh, BHP Billiton Group. They changed their ticker recently from BHP and BIL to now BHG. They love changing their tickers. <laughs> and what do we see here? Pretty much nothing. Uh, we can say that there is another inverse cup and handle that's been forming in the interim. It's actually formed two handles within the cup and handle. It's it's a rare occasion. Or you could say it's formed a cup and handle and then another larger cup and handle. 
But overall, let's not make the target too extensive. Uh, let's put the price range from the high to the low, copy and paste it and throw it here. Remember, I'm using Trading View, and I sent you the link higher up if you want to join uh, Trading View. It's free. It's amazing. You're you're missing out if you've not got into Trading View yet. I've used it for ten years, and only after ten years, I've decided to go pro. Short position. So we want a breakout below this level. We'll put our stop loss just above the handle of the inverse uh, cup and handle, and we'll move it all the way down. But we need the, the risk to reward to be over 1.5. So we'll throw it about there at 325 Rand and 39 cents. Looks good. All right. Next, our worst trade ever. <laughs> uh, B, this is British American Tobacco, which we're in at the moment and not doing well. Uh, it's testing the 200-day moving average. It's broken below. Uh, I'm not going to hope and say, well, it's looking good. It's bounced off it, and now it's going to take profit. It doesn't work like that. Unfortunately, it formed this cup and handle. It broke above. It gave us the signal to go long, which is what we do with the system. Um, we set our, our take profit and our stop loss. Hasn't hit our stop loss yet. Can't hope too high on it. So I do expect it to hit our stop loss. It's currently below the 200-day moving average. But we never know. An open trade is uh, an open trade until it's closed. Wisdom from Timon. Okay. Richmond. So Richmond, we got into the long based on this ascending triangle, if you remember. I'll be happy to draw it for you. So we got in this long with the ascending triangle. It bounced, it broke above. Uh, and then when it was around this level, we dropped the, not drop, we, uh, we, we brought up the stop loss to about 190. And then we, it hit our stop loss on the 1st of September, got us at it again. And luckily, we, we banked again. We didn't have to worry about paying any more interest charges because it was quite a long time that we held the trade. And now it is pretty much by our entry. It's, it's actually lower than where our entry is. So I'm quite happy to have gotten out on the 1st of September. I'm happy to have you know raised that stop loss, got us out, and um, banked again. Then we have clicks. Okay. And welcome to those who have joined. We are doing an analysis on the JSC uh, trades and analysis. And just so you know, I'll be posting some of these analysis that we've done on the new Discord server for premium multi traders. Um, there are a few VIP multi traders that I've also uh, brought into Discord that aren't premium, but the thing is, it's going to be a closed discussion. So I cannot send you the link to uh, Discord in the description in YouTube, but I will send it in the email afterwards so you get this video, this full video and analysis and how Discord works. Okay, so let's see. Clicks is not in my favorite watch list at the moment. In fact, I'm gonna delete this analysis. I'm going to put a rectangle and uh, I'm gonna say that currently it's in jail. As long as it's bouncing between the 267 Rand 68 and 325 Rand and 90 cents, it's in jail. I think we should mark it jail. So if you are a range bounded trader and love consolidation patterns, absolutely go for it. But right now it's in jail and I am not doing anything. <laughs> this is fun. Capitec. Now, Capitec hit our take profit level. And if we take a look at what it formed, so I'm not really looking at RSI right now, but if you see what it formed is that it made an uptrend. So the regression line was up. It then formed this diamond formation, which is a rare formation that happens in technical analysis, but it does happen. And there's one of two things that can happen. Either it can break up 
and it will go to the top of the diamond formation or it will break down which is what it did we got in at this level and it went all the way down to 165 sorry 1659 rand 23 cents okay so now the question is what is going on from here it is bouncing up and down on these supports it's below the 200 day moving average the seven is below the 21 is below the 200 so it's still got downside to go uh, i do expect some type of sideways motion trending uh, analysis before we decide to go long or short but until then we're out of this and um, i'm going to look for the next one discovery what is going on with discovery is it also in jail it seems to be in jail and i'm not happy with it so i'm gonna mark it in jail i used to call it the box but now i prefer jail because you know you don't want to uh, deal with it the box formation you actually want to trade but this one here um they can you you can see short-term opportunities for example and M formation that's broken below and now it's on its way down to the bottom. Uh, but the way discovery moves is that it's a little bit too volatile because it can form this downside and then it just shoots to the upside and it, it doesn't work well with um, MultiTrader. Xara, now Xara is in a strong trending momentum market clearly on the way up uh it's not really forming any patterns but it is bouncing up and down through this range and it's just on its way up I can't do anything with this if you're a trend trader if you like trading through uh you know if you're a swing trader you want to you know hold on to the market when it moves up if you're a range bound trader and you want to buy when it hits these uh, lower support lines or sell when it hits these resistance lines go for it but for me I, I can't do much with that FSR we're currently in a short position and we're in the money it formed this well before it formed this cup and handle so let us draw it so before it formed this cup and handle and we set our stop loss above the, the the handle and now it's formed a rounding bottom it's broken below the same support which either it's going to repeat this process or it is going to continue down now looking at the markets in general it seems like the general JSC trend wants to come down okay so I, I'm not too confident that first round is going to turn up however when we looked at absa it did show signs that it can be uh, forming a symmetrical triangle and it will break to the upside so right now it's in a downtrend it's broken below it looks like it's on its way down we're in that short at the moment quite happily uh, the only problem actually is not a problem because we're short we're actually receiving the interest while we're short in the market so I don't mind holding this trade longer gold fields another trade that I haven't traded for many years but I have been doing analysis and the analysis is quite extensive that it's formed this inverse cup and handle the RSI has been making lower highs we can throw in this short position with a stop loss above the handle of the inverse handle and the take profit which is 2.95 risk to reward which is an excellent reward if it if it drops down but we're talking a big move 129 rand 55 cents down to 26 rand and six cents so goldfields is not looking good neither is anglo gold Glencore I don't see anything at the moment we can say that there is an M formation but you know the problem that I have and that is gaps I do not like gaps even though it's closed the gap this does not confirm a strong M formation but rather high volatility in an uncertain market Impala 
also formed this major M formation. There's a problem going on with platinum at the moment and commodities. Either investors are not seeing the future potential that platinum has compared to palladium with the, the catalytic converters and with the uses of platinum and also with the fact that you know platinum is not as popular as it used to be for jewelry uh but now mainly industrial purposes so i don't think investors are seeing the value that platinum has to offer because it's old school to be honest and if it does break below the support we are talking quite an an extensive drop in the markets so i'm going to go price range and copy and paste this one uh geez <laughs> I love it when this happens, when the target is almost close to zero. And in this case, it's at about 20. It's a laugh. Uh, I don't know if this will play out. I'm just following the system. You can send it in the chat if you agree or disagree. But it looks like there's something brewing. When I see a big market that's about to drop, especially in resources, it means either there's going to be a massive recession or even a depression. Uh, I haven't lived to be through a depression yet, or just a very vigorous crash before upside. Kumba, we can say the same thing with the M formation. It's broken below. I'm seeing if we take the between the high and the low and we copy and paste it with trading view, we can see the target is also close to zero. Okay. I think I'm looking too broadly into these markets. Let's slow it down. All right. So target number one will be at 238 Rand and 97 cents. Um the RSI, the 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 risk to reward needs to be more than 1.5. And it's actually okay. Actually, no, this is wrong. I need to get in at this level. And the okay, it's not a great trade. I don't think I'll send it through the premium. And the reason is because it's already broken down. Um, we do see downside to come further, but I think we missed this opportunity. Mondi, I don't see anything to report. Marafi, once again, it's on its way down to my favorite target at 67. Marafi is one of the stocks that you just buy at 60, sell at 120, short at 120, and buy at 60. And you could have done this for decades. It just works every single time. And uh, I, I love doing this with Marafi, but it is quite a long-term hold, even though it is rather rewarding. Mr. Price is in the middle of nowhere, so nothing to report. MSM, I do not want to look at these gaps, so I skip. MTN has been not on my great watch list in the last couple of years, so I'm going to skip. Nedbank is continuing to move through this symmetrical triangle. The fact that the arrow is up and the symmetrical triangle is here, but it's broken below, means that we can get a fake out and we can get some downside back to 170 and 47 cents. Uh, not a great trading opportunity because we can expect a lot of volatility with this type of movement, but one to watch out for anyway. NAMPAC has broken its inverse cup and handle. It's broken below. I haven't traded NAMPAC in many years. And the reason is because it's one, a penny stock. And two, there are not many um, uh, brokers and trading platforms actually offer it. And three, it looks like it's on its way down to zero. <laughs> I feel like Mr. Doom today. Naspers, 
Nasdaqs, we got in, we banked our profits, it hit our take profit. We then, um, there's a symmetrical triangle that's now currently formed. It's broken below, similar to the banks. And my first target for Nasdaqs is at 1,659.64 cents. Put my take profit at this level. And the question is, is it worth a premium trade? Maybe. I'm going to write it down as a potential premium trade. And I'll obviously also be taking it because I take all these trades that I send out. Old Mutual. It's on a one-way track down. So nothing to really report. PPC, exactly the same as Old Mutual. Process is broken below the rising wedge, which should have broken up. But what I warned you, if, if you remember correctly, is that it formed this gap and remember, markets close gap 75% of the time, which is another reason to not buy or sell a market when it gaps. South Africa top 40 index. Let's take a look. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. Uh, you can send it in the chat. And if you haven't done so, please click on these links to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you'll receive this video as well as the trading view so that you can get these charts. They're all free. Everything's free. Uh, but just make sure that you have trading view so that we're seeing the same thing. And when you go on Discord, which I'll show you just now, you can screenshot the analysis. Uh, I'll follow you as well. And we can talk about what's lining up. All right, Sappy, I haven't traded in many years, so we'll skip. Standard Bank has broken below this double M formation. The M formation, sorry, double, yeah, double top. Double top formation is broken below. As you can see, all of the banks are acting similarly where we are expecting downside to come. So. If you are a big fan of shorting the market at the moment due to what is going on in America with the high inflation rates and the high interest rates uh, or with the, the, the war that's going on in the Ukraine and Russia and you don't have hopes for the Biden administration or what is going on, it might be a fun, it could be a risk, but to short all of the banks in South Africa is showing a good sign of downside. So um, I'm going to throw it in here, and I might even choose to short one of the banks for the premium match trader as well. I, I, I'm not a big risk taker, but this looks pretty good for downside. I'll write it down. All right, shop rights. Nothing to report. Sunlum, nothing to report. Steinhoff, definitely nothing to report. Sassol hit my take profit. So it formed this box formation, as you can see. It broke below, which we got in last week. Or it was, uh, yeah, about a week ago. And now it, it hit my take profit today. So I'm out of that trade. And I'm waiting for the next formation because it looks like there is more downside to come. But it was a good trade. Um, one, one to add to the quarter. It's been a very profitable quarter compared to the previous quarter. So I'm quite content with the way markets are moving at the moment. Spar, nothing to report. It's in the, it, when I, when I say it's nothing to report, it means that it's in this channel and it hasn't formed a, a distinguished breakout pattern that I, that I can get into. So if you are a trend analysis or a trend trader, then that would be an opportunity to just carry on holding. Sibanye still water, all of the gold stocks are looking bearish. I'm hoping there's going to be some type of catalyst that is going to push up resources and gold because they are my favorite sector and I support them. Um, 
not all with the principles, but I, I support them with the much trader system uh, definitely. So it has broken below and the first target is between the uh, high and the low and the difference would be at 8 Rand 72. So it is a very big target. Uh, it's possible. I don't have a platform to even short Sabanya still water. Telcom. It is actually showing upside to come. Good for you, Telcom. I live in I, I'm living in Greece now and I'm still paying telecom because when I go to South Africa uh, every you know every few months, uh, at least I have a good data, good reliable internet, uh, some you know people to call. So I'm happy to support telecom and I see that the first target will be at around 59 and 43 cents. Good for you, telecom, but not good enough for the premium much trader. Uh, let's take a look at what happened over here. So Talcom, you can see, formed this M formation and it hit our take profit level, which we got out of. And we just waited during that trend channel. And now it's currently forming some type of uh, ascending triangle for further upside. Vodacom is also in a downward channel, unfortunately. Woolworths is showing good upside to come. All right, so it formed this W formation. Uh, at the moment, it's forming a what's known as a pennant, not a wedge. A wedge lasts longer than a month or two, three months. So it's formed this pennant. We're then going to wait for the breakout to the upside, hopefully. But the, the way the markets are looking, it doesn't look very good. So if it does break to the upside, the target will be at 73 and 86 cents. And if it breaks below, then we might need to short this market. And then obviously we have the J200, which unfortunately is a short analysis. There is an inverse cup and handle. The, um, the handle, so the stop loss is not too far uh, up but it's enough for the market to drop and continue dropping so that the risk to reward is around 2.1. So we can see it's a short analysis, inverse cup and handle, the target is 50,000. So luckily we are short quite a number of stocks with the premium and believe it or not, I think we're gonna be doing more shorts which I'll be sending out either today or tomorrow. Okay, so now I just wanna share my screen again which I'm doing. So just so you know, we've started the Discord channel, which is a chat room where it's more live, it's more effective. You can you know, send out your analysis. I'll send out my trades and analysis. I'll send out premium updates. So you can see that there is premium multi-trader over here, which I will be inviting you very soon. Just make sure that you add me as a friend on Discord. Um, and then I'll, we'll be able to talk about the trades and analysis because the big difference is that I can send you analysis on thousands of markets. And yes, you can use it with your own trading. But when it comes to the premium, I actually send out the trades that have a very high probability with working out compared to some of the other analysis. So go to the Discord channel, go to the welcome. Here's the welcome, uh, a little bit of information. You can click on all of these, which go to the chat rooms itself. Read the rules. Quick links, so I click on the different links that we have to offer with Mati, free and VIP. Socials, we are connected to everything. And then new Mati posts will be posting the latest videos that I do while I'm traveling around the world. And trades and analysis chat, well, the most popular one at the moment is stocks, all right? And I think it's because we're still learning about how it works with Discord. So you can see with stocks, you can go to, um, you can click on it, you can go up because I've let the history um, show to those who join and you can see all of the analysis. And like I said, I'll be sending you the analysis from this video to the Discord. So you can tell me what you think. Um, and for those who don't want to watch the video, you can just check up the Discord once a day or just, you know, have it on. There's nothing to lose and ask questions. Enjoy the analysis. This is very exciting. This makes the premium come alive. This is live. Enjoy it. So does anybody have any questions at the moment? 
right? And I, I like this, that some people are commenting um, live so we can talk about the analysis. And, and because I'm obsessed with trading, I'll be happy to help you. Does anyone have any questions? Did you enjoy today's live? You can unmute yourself. You can send it in the chat. Can we look at shorts for Remgro and Investec? All right, let's check it out. Remgro. <coughs> now, why isn't Remgro in my watch list? Let's add Remgro. So you can see with uh, TradingView, you can add all of your watch lists over here. So I've got commodities, crypto, forex, index, and JSC. Soon I'm going to have the FTSE watch list up, the NASDAQ, the S&P, the ASX, all the stocks that I trade in the international. I'm going to incorporate it into the premium multi trader. So make sure that you stay on board with premium uh, because a lot of new things are happening. This is really becoming real, guys, compared to how it started in 2019. Remgro, yes, let's see, what do we have? Let's first take a look at the broader side of things. So we can see that it's been on a very strong up channel. It's currently been forming this type of wedge formation. All right, let's just zoom out. And let's extend this uh, wedge formation. Now, either it's going to break to the upside and it's going to go to the top of the formation over here, uh, the top of, yes, the formation. So we'll put a horizontal line here at 152 and 76. If it breaks down, then we can say that it's forming, believe it or not, a descending triangle. All right. And if it breaks below, then we can take the price range. But at the moment, it hasn't broken below. Now, looking at the general status of the market, it has a high probability of breaking to the downside. So, yes, I think a, a short is more likely to work out than a long. Uh, and you can see at the lower highs, there isn't much momentum to the upside. The RSI is making lower highs as well and the same lows. It's below the 50 mark. So, yes, the, the Remgo is looking good for a short. Then we have uh, Investec. Okay, let me do Investec for you. All right, so that's also added to my watch list. Thank you for these suggestions. Investec has broken below this descending triangle. We can see there is a price range between the high and the low where the target could be at 51 rand and two cents so descending triangle target what did i say 51 rand anyway let's just say 51 rand doesn't make a difference okay Actually, looks pretty good for a short for the premium. Good suggestion. I might consider it. Very good suggestion. I'll write it down. Does that help? You had a target of 56 Rand. Good. And thank you for being with me. I know these are last minute type of events, but they are necessary because the market is constantly moving and I want to get an idea of what I'm going to be sending out trades. So thank you again for joining. Let me know what you think of these uh, live videos on the Discord channel if you enjoyed today. Let me send you the link again for Discord if you haven't joined. It's really easy. I mean, I, I know I sent a whole PDF on six steps, but they literally guide you through it to join 
And uh, I'm, I'm really excited for Discord and what it's going to do for the premium multi-trader service. So go to the chat, save that link. 